Actually, I don't know if you're here yet, but I'm sure some of you are, are logging on and tuning in. Um, we're here for our uh, noon prayer time, and as you might have noticed, um, we're doing this midweek on Wednesdays now, and so just taking a time in the middle of the week to um, pause and to come before the Lord and to pray uh, about some specific things and also to uh, give our requests to the Lord. So this is, as always, an interactive time. So please uh, send in your prayer requests. And I am pulling up Facebook right now to see um, the comments as they come in. So as I'm doing that, Julie, you want to say hello to everybody? Hello to everybody. <laughs> Hi, guys. Miss you, girl. Looking forward to Sunday and regathering with as many of you as possible. And looking forward to spending a few minutes in prayer with you this good afternoon. All right. We are alive. We are seeing ourselves. <laughs> it's kind of strange, like going back and forth to see All right. what's happening. All right, I'm actually going to type, welcome, send us your requests. <laughs> That's me. There we go. All right. As we begin, just wanted to encourage us with a passage of scripture that I was reading this morning that I thought might be encouraging for you. I know for me, um, as we look forward to this week, there's an excitement as the worship pastor, as we look forward to Sunday and some type of regathering, whatever that will look like, um, is still unknown at this point as far as, you know, who will be there and how that will go and just um, we've been planning, we've been preparing as a staff the best we can, but this is all still in the Lord's hands, mm -hmm. and so we're just submitting all of our plans to Him. So we're just asking uh, that you would also pray for us, pray for our church body as we gather, that it would uh, be something that would be a blessing. And there may be those, there will be those who will not be able to gather with us quite yet uh, for many reasons, medical reasons, practical reasons, um, safety reasons, health. And so we want to uh, pray for, for everyone in our church body. Everyone may not be able to be together this week, but progressively as the weeks go on, um, we're, we're praying that, that our gathering would continue to be more and more full mm -hmm. so that we might be together in each other's presence, in the presence of God as we come before him and worship him. It's an important part of, of our faith, the church, um, not only scattered, but the church gathered. But as we think uh, forward to this, I think there's, um, you know, you've probably had conversations. I know I've had conversations. Everybody seems like there's a just there's still a spectrum of kind of where everyone's at. And I think it's very important for us as believers, as the people of God, to continue to show love and to show grace. Though we may differ on things that it's okay to differ on, um, it's important that we do it in a spirit of love, in a spirit of, uh, of the gospel. So I was just refreshing my heart um, with Romans chapter 12 and this uh, section in verse 9 through the end of the chapter. It might be encouraging for you too. But um, I just, I, my, my eye caught the heading of this section. And uh, although this is, an inspired, this is not an inspired part of the scripture, the heading, um, it still caught my attention. It just says marks of a true Christian. And I just found myself uh, really just in a spirit of prayer asking the Lord that, that I would be uh, displaying the marks of a true Christian. And I thought we could just uh, make that something of a prayer focus for us in this week. So let me read it for us. So this is Romans 12, verse 9 through 21. So um, how about I read this, and you can read some, and then I'll finish out. Okay. It says, Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. 
Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Bless those who persecute you. Bless and do not curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Weep with those who weep. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Never be wise in your own sight. Repay no one evil for evil, but thought, but give thought to what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he is thirsty, give him something to drink. For by so doing, will help will heap burning coals upon his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Mm. So our prayer is that we would, through all of this, not only um, be the church together gathered, but also display the love of Christ to our community, to our world, that the gospel um, would be something that would be a, a somewhat of a lighthouse in our community. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, that can only really be done if, if that's being displayed uh, to one another. So let's be gracious in our, in our opinions. Let's be gracious in our responses to one another. Mm -hmm. um, there are a, a lot of different ways that we can go about displaying wisdom, and that might look differently um, between our different families, be between our different contexts. There are considerations that we might not be thinking about that others are. Um, we never know what someone else might be going through. Mm -hmm. uh, we never know what health concerns they might be dealing with. And so we don't want to be judgmental towards one another uh, because they might not show up on the first Sunday. And we, and we want to um, care for them. We want to love one another. But we also want to urge one another towards a community as much as we can in the coming days. And so this is, this is hard to navigate, um, but I'm praying that, um, that your heart would be shaped and my heart would be shaped more towards the gospel through this process. Mm -hmm. The more we have to consider one another uh, better than ourselves is actually a good thing, <laughs> um, even though it's not always the easiest thing. Mm -hmm. So um, hopefully that's an encouragement to you this morning. All right, let's see who's who's jumping in. We got a few people jumping on, which is great. Hello, glad that you're here. Um, so I, I just wrote down a, a bunch of things to pray for, and I just kind of want to <clears throat> have this time just be open and free for you to write down some things as well, to comment and to let us know uh, what the needs are in your life, mm -hmm. uh, in your context, in your circles. We want to be praying. So... Please do that. And then uh, I would like to start off by reading a prayer that is from a book called uh, Valley of Vision, which is a book that I've gone to um, over and over through the years. It's been an encouragement to me. It's just a collection of, of prayers, uh, Puritan prayers. Um, some of them are, are very old. Um, some of them have kind of be, been edited or rewritten, um, but I thought this would just be an encouragement to you as it has been for me. So um, why don't we both read this together as well? Like in unison? Not in unison. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you for that clarification. Um, some, of, some of the language might be a little bit um, kind of older language, um, but that's okay. We're just going to um, read this prayer. All right, so it says, Gracious God, my heart praises thee for the wonder of thy love in Jesus. He is heaven's darling, but is for me the incarnate, dis despised, rejected, crucified sin bearer. In him, thy grace has almost outgraced itself. Mm. In him, thy love to rebels has reached its height. Oh, to love thee with a love like this. My heart is stone, 
Melt it with thy love. My heart is locked. Let thy love be the master key to open it. O oh, Father, I adore thee for thy great love in the gift of Jesus. O oh, Jesus, I bless thee for resigning thy life for mine. O oh, Holy Spirit, I thank thee for revealing to me this mystery. Great God, let thy son seat in me the trivial, the trivial? Travail. Travail. See, there we go. Of his soul. Bring me away from my false trust to rest in him, in him only. Let me not be so callous to his merit as not to love him, so indifferent to his blood as not to desire cleansing. Lord Jesus, Master, Redeemer, Savior, come and take entire possession of me. This is thy right by purchase. In the arms of love, enfold and subdue my willful spirit. Take, sanctify, use my every faculty. I am not ashamed of my hope, nor has my confidence led me into confusion. I trusted thee regarding my innumerable sins, and thou hast cast them behind thy back. I trusted thee when evils encompassed me, and thou broughtest me out of, the, of a wealthy place. I trusted thee in an hour of distress, and thou dost fail, not fail me, though faith trembled. O God of eternal choice, O God of the restored possession purchased on the tree, O God of the effectual call, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. I adore thy glory, honor, majesty, power, and dominion forever. Amen. Just, uh, want to continue on in prayer now um, for for the things that we will bring before the throne. So Jeannie has a, a prayer request here. Um, so we'll start with that and then we'll just kind of move through requests. God, we're just asking with, with Jeannie that you would mold us and shape us through this time that through it all we would become soft and more loving towards one another that in these trials lord that you would make our hearts more gentle towards one another more considerate of one another um, not just for morality's sake but for the sake of the gospel and for the witness of your name that we would be a light to this world around us, God. That's a great, it's a great request. Mm -hmm. I want to continue to pray for that. Thanks, Jeannie. Mm -hmm. um, what else can we be praying for? I'm just going to pull up a list I started to, to write down myself. Um, so again, I mentioned we're, we're regathering this Sunday as a church family, as a church body. And so um, just want to bring some requests before the Lord. Uh, on this subject as well. So Lord, we're, we're coming before you asking for your blessing upon this Sunday as we, um, humanly speaking, have planned and prepared uh, in many ways to be safe and healthy as, we, as much as we can. But uh, let our trust not be in our plans. Mm -hmm. Let our trust not be in uh, the things that we have thought about uh, our confidence is not in those things. It is in you. And so um, no matter how much risk we mitigate or how much risk there is um, going forward in the days of ahead, may we not be driven by fear, but may we um, trust in you and, and know what that looks like each day as, um, as we need to move forward with wisdom. So give us love for one another and love uh, for your son. Lord, we just want to pray that you would guard and protect our church. Lord, I pray that you would, um, first, would you please um, guard and protect our leaders, our elders, pastors. Ask, Lord, that you would encourage their hearts um, as only you can do. Lord, we pray that as they um, communicate with one another, that they would be clear. And, um, Lord, that you'd give them a spirit of unity during this time and, um, and ongoing, Lord, we're thankful for 
um, that spirit that has been um, a blessing. And so, God, we just pray that you would continue to guide and direct these men and, Lord, um, these ladies and leadership teams who are uh, making decisions and choices, Lord, for our church and for um, the people of our church, Lord, your church. And I pray, Father, that you would um, continue to give them a spirit of, uh, of unity. Lord, we do pray that you would um, protect us against spiritual warfare. Lord, I pray also that you would give us wisdom and insight uh, when, when we do experience spiritual warfare. Lord, we, we know it's real. And um, I just pray, God, that you would give your people uh, grace and peace. And also just the ability to be able to recognize um, our frustrations possibly and that it could just be spiritual warfare, Lord, that you would help us to recognize that we uh, don't wrestle with flesh and blood, Lord. Um, so we just pray that you would go before us and that you would um, help us as we continue to be a, a, a gospel witness in um, the greater Tallahassee area. Yeah, thanks, Trey, for that um, request. Um, so pray for that. Lord, that you would just honor the, the prayer of Trey and um, desire to see uh, unity in faith, to cling to Christ, and, and to not be swayed by fear. Um, Lord, that you would help us to, um, to walk together in unity, not only in our local churches, but in your church, in the church, um, that we would not have a spirit of, of uh, criticism towards one another, but that we would um, truly love one another even though we may differ on uh, how, how to navigate these days ahead. And so, um, Lord, give us a spirit of trust, spirit of love and unity together as the body of Christ. Um, also in that, just want to pray for uh, for those who may not be able to return this coming Sunday, that you would help them to not feel the shame, help them not to feel um, a second class believer. Um, we know that there are considerations that need to have uh, to be taken into account. Those who are at, more at risk, Lord, may need to um, be uh, separated for just a, a little bit more time for their safety. Uh, others who are dealing with uh, medical conditions, um, uh, immunity issues, um, just uh, different considerations that that need to be taken into account. So Lord, we just ask that you would bless them, though um, I'm sure many of them would, would love to, to gather sooner, um, but for the many reasons cannot help Help all of our um, disappointments as we move forward, all of our disappointments to not be able to gather fully in a, in a complete way, that it would just drive us towards a deeper, greater longing uh, for the gathered church. And Lord, um, I also just want to pray that you would help us to have a spirit that is trusting in you completely um, Lord, I, I don't feel as though um, the American church is truly experiencing full persecution in, in extreme ways, Lord. Um, but I do pray that you would help us as um, there, is, there is evil that would love to see the Church of Christ um, stopped. And Lord, we know that um, that it is unstoppable and so I pray Lord that when we feel uh, hints of um, just revenge or wanting to, to fight or uh, just say a harsh word Lord I just pray that your spirit would just overcome us with peace Lord that you would give us wisdom to speak a gentle word Lord I pray that you would help us to trust that your Holy Spirit is working and is active and um, I pray Lord God that you would um, help us truly to bless those who persecute Lord and that we would not uh, fall prey to just wanting to to retaliate uh, should we feel as though we've been um, persecuted pray Lord that we would um, really just have a spirit of rejoicing and um, 
thankfulness as we are able to once again gather uh, with with the people of God. And so we just commit um, that you would help us as much as it's up to us to be at peace with all men, Lord, that you would really just fill our hearts with a spirit of peace and confidence in Christ for what he's done for us, um, knowing that uh, left on our own, Lord, we would we would be in the in great trouble, Lord, and you have rescued us. And so we say thank you. And we just pray, Lord, that that would really just infiltrate all of our lives, um, every aspect of it, that we would just be really a gracious people and that you would just fill us with um, the love of Christ. God, we ask that you, um, as as we see what's going on in our world, as as the news reports come each day, as the updates come from our state, local, federal governments, Lord, that um, that you would give us a st- stability in spirit, that it, we would not be driven by panic or anxiety or fear, um, but that you would give your people, your, the believers who call you by name, uh, who seek you, that you would give us a, a, just a sense that your Holy Spirit is... Uh, ministering to our hearts mm. and causing us to trust in you in ways that we know uh, is beyond ourselves, that we would not be sucked into um, the panic that sometimes happens in this world, uh, but that you would give us a trust in you that would be greater and supernatural. Mm. We're asking for um, wisdom for our leadership as we move through these uh, phases, each state and each um, local government and county is kind of moving through these things in 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 different ways and so uh, we're asking lord even in the tallahassee area for for our uh, people here that you would um, allow these phases to continue to move forward we know that it would be a, a, a discouragement to move backward in any way but we know that the possibility is there um, but in that lord we trust you and we ask that you would continue to um, move in the in in the direction uh, that we seem to be going at this point, and we're grateful for the results that we've seen um, up to this point. And so we're asking, Lord, that you would move us into just practically speaking into the next phase, that we would continue uh, to open up things in our our towns and our cities. We also just want to pray for our um, the businesses, local businesses here who str- who have really struggled through this time. Uh, many in our church who have struggled, Lord, as well with having to, um, some have, have lost jobs, um, just praising you that some have found jobs as mm-hmm. well. Uh, also, some have seen uh, pay cuts, um, some temporary. And so, Lord, we're asking you would just, you would fill uh, those needs uh, as they come about, Lord, and shepherd and guide us as a congregation. Provide for our needs mm-hmm. as we know you will. Uh, reassure us with your love and that you care for our physical needs as well as our spiritual needs because you are, you're good like that. Mm-hmm. And Lord, we do also want to just continue to pray for um, the health of um, the people who are in our church and uh, within the context of our body of just family members, Lord, we do pray for those who have been affected by um, this new virus. And God, we do pray that you would um, continue to uh, bring healing. And we pray, Lord, that you would continue to... Um, we, we would love to see this virus go away. Lord, we know that you are able to do that. We pray, Father, that you would just continue to give doctors and scientists wisdom and guidance as they uh, work hard. Um, Lord, but we also think of those who have other illnesses not related to um, COVID, but um, other health issues that are ongoing. And um, I'm just praying, Lord, that you would uh, be the great physician, that you would bring about healing in people's lives who are struggling with illness and chronic illness or various diseases. Lord God, we do pray that you would uh, continue to bring um, 
healing to your people. And Lord, we just pray that you would help us uh, just to even have a heart of just compassion towards um, others um, as we've kind of just talked about unity, um, just not knowing exactly what everybody's going through. So I pray, Lord, that you would give us a heart of um, compassion and gentleness, uh, even in the areas of maybe not understanding fully uh, physical um, ailments or distress, Lord, but we just ask that you would help us to have grace and wisdom in Jesus' name. Yeah, just as we conclude our time, just want to um, again pray through the scripture that we read at the beginning of our time and just ask that you would honor your word among us at your people. And so just pray that you'd help us to have a genuine love for one another, help us to have a uh, a desire for holiness to um, to pray against those things that are evil that would uh, attack the um, message of Christ help us to hold fast to you help us to hold fast to those uh, those things which are good um, that we would love one another with true brotherly affection mm -hmm. that even Lord you would that the world around us would see us trying to outdo one another with mm -hmm. honor and love towards one another. Mm -hmm. um, Lord, we rejoice in the hope that we have in Christ. Um, and we're asking that you would allow that hope to give us patience during time of tribulation, during time of trial. Uh, help us to be constant in prayer. Mm -hmm. Lord, may we just learn through this time that we need to be consistently coming to you, not just when we're in a time of trial or tribulation, and that you would impress that upon our, our hearts. Pray that you'd help us to show hospitality towards one another and to contribute to the needs of one another in the body. Um, that this time would even help us to think in greater ways of those other than ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, we pray for those who would want to persecute your church, uh, who would want to um, call um, uh, curse upon your name, who would want to discount the message uh, of the church, that you, uh, you would help us to, to not uh, retaliate with those same, the same spirit, mm -hmm. but that we would truly want to bless those around us, even those who might curse us and curse your name. Uh, help us to rejoice with one another. Help us to weep with one another and live in harmony with one another. Not being haughty, not overlooking the needs of the lowly, um, but that you would give us your heart. And ultimately, Lord, we uh, want you your gospel to be what overcomes this world with good um, in the midst of, of this evil world, this cursed world, um, world that is uh, ridden with sin. We trust in you knowing that you will make all things new again mm -hmm. one day. And so it's in your name that we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Well, hopefully you've been blessed by this time. Just praying for you, church. I want you to know that we love you. Um, just asking that as we navigate these days ahead of us, that we would do so with love and consideration for one another in the spirit of the gospel. So go with that, and we will see you. Uh, some of you on Sunday physically, which I'm excited about, and some of you will still be um, watching online. And so in the days ahead as we move through each Sunday progressively more and more. Let's pray that God would bring us back together in a full way mm -hmm. so that we might worship him together as his church. All right. Sounds good. We will see you later. Have a great rest of the day. Bye-bye.